In this video, first I am going to explain what the danger zone. It is in relation to achieve food safety. Second, temperature range of the danger zone. And finally, what the maximum allowable exposure could be in the danger zone. In the next video, I will explain how to manage the danger zone in securing food safety. Consider an example of cooked syrup or cooked chilled food. In order to achieve food safety, we need to know how to handle these foods in relation to temperature exposure. In this case, we must know the danger zone. These foods are common in our kitchen, restaurant, and catering services. Danger zone is the temperature where microbes grow at a very high rate. It is within 5 to 60 degrees C. In this thermometer, I have shown 0 degree C as ice formation or melting and 100 degree C as water boiling or condensation. We can see three zones, cold zone, danger zone, and hot zone. Danger zone is considered the temperature within 5 to 60 degree C when microbes grow very rapidly. Each food category has a recommended temperature to store. For example, frozen foods at minus 18 degrees C, canned foods and some pickles at room temperature, yogurt and pasteurized milk at chill condition that is below 4 degrees C, hot food should be at 60 degrees C until served and cooked chilled food at 4 degrees C. Foods are exposed to a danger zone during processing, storage, and transport. We could not avoid the danger zone, but the exposure must be based on the recommended guidelines. For example, if we heat or cook a food, then we must cool it fast as guidelines. The general rules for cooked foods are keep hot food hot, that is above 60 degrees C, and keep cold food cold, that is below 5 degrees C. The refrigerator temperature usually varies within 1 and 4 degrees C. In many cases, it may be difficult to avoid exposure in the danger zone. For example, cooked chill foods, we must cool it below 5 degrees C. After cooking, I check what the temperature was. It was 80 degrees C. We cannot avoid the danger zone during cooling, but we could follow the guidelines. How long are we allowed to expose food in the danger zone? There are two hours and four hours rules. Option one, we need to cool within two hours from 60 to 20 degrees C and within two hours from 20 to 5 degrees C. Option 2, we need to cool within 1 hour from 60 to 20 degrees C and within 3 hours from 20 to 5 degrees C. It is important to mention that a temperature of 60 to 20 degrees C is more danger than a lower temperature of 20 to 5 degrees C. Since optimum temperature of most of the microbes is around 37 degrees C. Two hours and four hours rules. If it is less than two hours, cooked chilled food can be used or brought back in the refrigerator to be used later. Food health between 5 degrees C and 60 degrees C for two to four hours can still be used or sold but cannot be put back in the fridge. Salt save states that four hours is the maximum length of time ready to eat foods can stay in the temperature danger zone. After the four hours limit, foods are considered spoiled and must be thrown away. In the next video, I will explain different scenarios, that is how to manage the danger zone in achieving food safety and what would happen if violation. 
I would like to thank you for watching this video until the end. If you like this video, then subscribe to our channel.